Alright guys, welcome back. So NVIDIA today <clears throat> on Monday, little update before they report earnings. We have semiconductors pulling back. NVIDIA finally closed the day at 2.5% down. But this swing right here from in the morning where we kind of tried to get above this 130 but didn't hold more than 10 minutes, flushed right back down about 5%, 5.5% flush down. And then we consolidated, chopped around throughout the day. So, at the moment, right here, right now, this 130 is acting as a strong resistance and there are a lot of call sellers. So now it's pretty clear that there are a lot of uh, people who are dumping 130 calls. You can see the volume uh, and right now, well, market is closed, but if you take a look at the, like, we have talked about many, many times. If you have checked other videos that I have published about NVIDIA, which I have been doing pretty constantly for the past, I don't know, for quite some time now. Um, these institutional traders, um, whatever they are, right? JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, whoever, all of these big guys, they utilize options to capitalize short term, to raise the funds, to uh, raise capital, while holding millions of shares out there and that's their playbook okay and i will give you one example again this is purely my uh my speculation okay it doesn't have to be identical but look at this daily chart of nvda okay so this just from 140 we pull back to 90 we go back to 130 and they're about to report earnings I'm gonna go take you to Tesla chart of 2020, what is it, 2021? So let's go a little bit further. Let's pull up 10 year chart. Um, I do think that we may be doing exact same thing as Des Tesla did in the begin in the at the end of 2021 and also in the beginning of 20. 22. Just look at this chart, okay? So we could be doing exactly same, exact same thing as Tesla has been doing right now. So volatility, the, my point is for a $3 trillion stock to swing 5 6% every single day, that's insanity. That is hundreds of billions of dollars, okay? There are like it's basically swinging one AMD up and down every single day. That's what it is. Maybe even more. I'm not going to just dive into the numbers, but that's crazy. And usually when large cap stock does this, that's usually indicative of a local top. I'm not saying that Nvidia can break out and run, but this is purely my speculation. And I'm looking at Tesla and I'm watching Tesla chart as a possible guide for NVIDIA. I'm not saying that NVIDIA will be trading in the next two, three years, 50% below whatever it is sitting right now, which it can possibly do. But I'm watching this Tesla's 2021 chart and it is looking very, very similar to that chart right here, right now. So, but what I'm watching going forward from here. So, 130 is your wall and we have this declining um, resistance line for NVDA 140 so lower highs technically we are maybe trying to build above it if we do next level well after breaking 130 135 140 is the uh, all-time highs but two more days 50 day moving average I'm watching this level as a possible area of support, which is 122, 120. But if we do flush that level, we might have some support at 115, decent support at 105, decent support at 100, and then 95 of the um, this breakout level uh, before consolidation and run. Okay, so that's the very basic update simple update before they report but i'm watching this name going into the earnings neutral to slightly bearish maybe but i'm not trading it 
I'm not, I don't own any position, any options or anything like that. Implied volatility going into the earnings still elevated a lot higher right now, 137. Last week it was 80% IV, right now 137%. So this thing is implying $14.5 move up or down from today's close by the end of Friday. So... But I'm not trading options. I know there are a lot of call sellers, but those are mainly institutional traders who have millions of shares, and that's how they utilize um, the option market, okay? So that's what I'm watching. That's the update. See you in the next one.